today we are in the Jeep and uh, we're gonna modify the seat bracket into a quick disconnect with the help of these ones and in order to do that you need to remove the seats and modify the bracket to do this you need a 10 millimeter socket wrench open up your seat and remove this screw normally there is two screws but i only have one once the screws are out you just remove the seat and repeat uh, what you just done on the other side keep in mind when you're ordering this one that you need four uh, unfortunately i only ordered Two. So I'm just gonna show you uh, this on uh, one of the seeds, but it's the same on the other. What you're doing here is that you're removing this pin from the seat bracket and replace it with your disconnect. I'm gonna start drilling on the side that has this little hole because on the other side it's all flat and you're making it uh, hotter for yourself if you're drilling here and use some sort of eye protection this one spins when i drill so i'm gonna clamp it down to hold it in place i got the bracket off now it should just slide out very easily yeah it came out next step is to make the holes bigger so that the disconnect will fit in the hole When you're done with the holes, you could uh, grind it down a little bit so that the edge is not so sharp. As you see now, the disconnect fits perfectly fine in the hole. And the next step now is to make the holes bigger in the other part of the bracket. When you're done with the holes, uh, put the two pieces together and make sure that everything fits by putting your quick disconnect on and test it out. Once you're done with your hole, you only have to reinstall your brackets. Reinstalling your brackets is pretty straightforward. Remember that this side goes upwards. Here comes the installation of the quick disconnect and as you see I struggled a little bit. I should have made the holes bigger but it works. The quick disconnects are on and it turns out really good and I now have the possibility to remove the rear seat without uh, using any tools which is good if I'm gonna put my sleeping platform or anything similar in here. Uh, the model I did this on is a Jeep Grand Cherokee VJ. Uh, it's probably possible to do the same on other Jeeps or even other vehicles. Uh, thanks for watching and see you soon.